What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Logical Dude. I am hanging out here tonight and I am going to open up some Splinterlands card packs. I've had a few packs sitting in my Hive Engine wallet. I put them in here into the well. They're burning a hole in my pocket. I kind of want to open them up. I feel like that can actually get more points with the cards than I could just having the unopened packs. And yeah, so I will, uh, let's get this going. I have eight unopened packs, so we're going to go ahead and get this going. I am not using any boosters tonight. I'm not sure if they're really worth it. You know, I did get some gold foils last time, but we'll see what happens without the booster packs. All right. Yes, I do want to continue. Here is pack number one. And we've got a rare portal spinner. And a Scabo Chemist. A rare obsidian summoner. I've already got I'm already got a stack powering up. I always like to add to it. Uh oh! What is this? Legendary Soul Fiend. Alright. It's a legendary card. It's got a zero mana, though. Huh. I have never seen one with a zero mana. That's cool. We'll have to see what the purpose of that is. But, hey, it's legendary, so it means it is rare. Super rare, actually. All right. And then we've got a river nymph. I like the magic cards. And, uh, hey, I don't know if I've already got one of those or not. But, hey, if I do, we're going to stack it up and power it up. All right, cool. Not bad, considering I'm not using any potions. All right, it's a good experiment here. So that is actually a uh, pretty rad little uh, little set there. Let's uh, let's use this guy for the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> That was a pretty good pack. All right, let's try. That was the first one we opened. Let's go for pack number two here. All right. Card number one, a Karen Shade. We'll power that guy up. As we will this Crypt Beetle. Just already starting to stack on those, trying to level them up. Got a Zenith Monk rare card. A Scavo Hireling. And then a Cursed Windiku. All right, I actually own one of those. It's one of my go-to tanks for my death element strategy. So really super glad to have gotten one of those guys. Don't think I've owned one of those yet. All right. That was an okay deck. I like that uh, that one card, though. All right, let's see what's going on here. Pack number three. Got another rare time mage. Got one of those the other day. Goblin tower. Nice. Or another rare card. A flying squid. I like that guy. He's got some reach. Another Chaos Knight. Got one of those on my last uh, uh, one of my last openings, so I'm going to power that one up. And then a uh, Hardy Stonefish. I'm going to power that one up as well. Some of these I've got multiple cards, so I get to power them up. Because that is the best way to handle that. All right. So we've got five packs left. Here we go. <laughs> Centigrader. Scavo Firebolt. Venari Knifer. Ah, oh, yeah. Nice. Radiated Scorcher. 
and a rift wing all right i think all those i have cards already so i'll just get to power those up four packs left maybe i should have gotten some potions it's okay Sunkai Harvester. Another Morphoid thing. Chaos Agents. Alright. Some kind of rare. Oh, the Death from Stalker. Okay. And another Caron Shade. Alright. We just keep getting to level those guys up some more. Alright, we got three packs left. Maybe. Maybe. But see, I gotta buy credits. That's the problem. Let's see here. Let's see if I can go buy some credits real quick. Will it let me buy some credits here? Um, I don't know. Let's see here. It won't let me buy with DEC for some reason all of a sudden, but I need 50 charges for that. So let's see if it'll let me, if it'll let me buy some credits with DEC. So, yeah, that's fine. We'll buy some credits. Yeah, I'll pay with Dark Energy Crystals. Alright. Yeah, we'll pay with some Dark Energy Crystals. Alright, so this time we'll try some Gold Foil Magic here. I got a Legendary card in this stack, so I'm really happy with that. Alright, we're going to wait on this transaction to confirm here. Sorry for the little intermission here, guys. But uh, I want to see if the potions are going to help at all here. And what do I have? Three packs left, so we're going to save 15 charges. And uh, we're going to buy that with credits there. All right. So let's see if I have any better luck here. Let's see if I have any better luck with some of these cards. Like I said, that first pack was really good, but then they've all been kind of eh from there. All right. Now I got gold foil. Potions. I about the legendary. I about the legendary. So. All right. Goblin Psychic. Another one of those. Another Caron Shade. Another Flying Squid. Another Obsidian Summoner, rare card, and another Sunkai Harvester. Womp womp. Not the best pack openings here. But hey, you know, every card is real estate, because you can rent them out, but the best thing to do is power them up so that your cards can get uh, higher up in the levels there. <laughs> get more money for them all right another radiated scorcher another morphoid another flying squid uh, venari spellmouth i like this guy and then another scavo chemist womp womp okay so yeah the potions have not done anything to help that was a waste of money and Last one. Hopefully I get a gold foil on this last one. Another radiated brute. Scavo hireling. A Thaddeus brood rare card. Nice. Another river nymph rare. And a uh, shadow snitch. All right. Kind of a lackluster pack opening. I like getting uh, really, you know, really good solid cards. That first pack was epic. That first pack was nice. Had the legendary and all those rare cards. So, really happy with that. I uh, got a lot of cards. I'm going to get to power up. So let's uh, let's do that real quick. Cause why not? We're gonna chill. I'm in that kind of mood. Let's go into my own cards here. Yeah. All right. So we're going to level him up. 
I'm not going to go through and hit the level all, uh, combine all cards button because I've got a couple of cards that I'm renting out and then uh, like I got one that I'm renting out one that I'm playing with kind of thing so I don't do the all all right so I get a few more of those and I get to level up all right I'm pretty close to leveling this guy up this should level him up actually nope yeah, I did. Cool. Leveled him up to level two. Nice. All right. Let's see here. Etnoid Platoon. We're going to level those guys up. All right. And let's see here. Party Stonefish. Level them up here. Or, not leveling up, just combining. You know, working on the level up. About halfway to that point with this card. Our Flying Squid. This. Should actually level him up. Maybe. I'm not sure. We'll find out though. Not quite. Almost there. Almost there to get to level two. Okay. It's my river nymph. I'm going to combine that. Just made, basically takes all these cards and just, you know, mashes them together as one more powerful card. And combines the worth and all that kind of stuff so this is one of the ones that i'm doing the whole renting one holding one same thing with wave brood uh this guy let's all right oh yeah this guy's already on level two for me so i just get to keep adding up okay uh, work my way down the line here. With a goblin psychic. Alright. Keep adding to the stack on this guy. Keep building up some worth on this card, you know. I like how you can do that. It's pretty cool. So you're not just like sitting on a bunch of doubles and stuff. You can actually power them up. Like, the more cards you get, the actually the better off it is. Ooh, this is going to be nice. This is actually going to power this up. This is going to be a, uh, maybe not power it up yet, but to level two. But it'll um, certainly pull together some worth here. So now I've got this summoner card that's worth uh, a little over 20 bucks, $21 there. Estimated value. You can usually get a little bit more on the market for it. Okay. I'm just going through and looking for the little numbers here. So let's combine this guy. Didn't get any gold foil summoners out of, the, out of this pack. Or gold foil or anything. Not just summoners, but gold foils. Didn't get anything. Hey, I leveled him up to level two. Nice. All right. I did get to level him up. Alright, I think this was my legendary card. Yeah, the Soul Fiend, he was my legendary card. Alright, let's combine all of these cards. Alright, almost a level 2 on him. Alright. Yeah, okay. I'm just doing a little quick skim over real quick. My Chaos Knight here. Let's power her up. Alright. My Portal Spinner. I have two of those. We're going to combine them. 
into one. So packs are fun because you just get to, you know, you get all these random cards and you can power them up, you know, if you get duplicates and that kind of thing. But I like going through, I like stacking up my DEC and I like going through and buying the cards that I want to buy for rentals and stuff like that. Like my gold foil cards and stuff like that because I make money on those passively through renting the cards out. Well, as these things get leveled up and they get more powerful... I'm, I'll be able to rent them out as well down the line. So that's cool. I didn't even get up to 5,000 power there. That's kind of black. Yeah. I didn't get a great group of cards there. A lot of common ones. Hey, leveled up my Shadow Snitch. Nice. All right. I leveled several of them up. That's cool. Um, oh, there's my Soul Fiend. That's my legendary card. All right. It's nice when you get those because that'll actually that's actually like those are cards are worth decent money, and they only grow in value. So. Well, they will only grow in value later on down the line as new card packs come out. This game is going to be around for a while. I got a feeling because this is just, it's one of the best games I've seen as far as everything that you can do with it. And the fact that you can tie in real world value with it makes it that much better. All right, another leveled up. Level two, my Scavo Hireling. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm not seeing any more duplicate cards here. Oh, oh, there's my Chaos Agent, and I got a couple more down here, and then those are the those are it. All right. So let's get these all combined, and then that'll be it for this video. All right, and we know it'll go all the way to the bottom. All right, and let's level this guy up. You can see the little bar down here is starting to fill up. So when the bar fills up is when it goes up to the next level of card. So what that means is that you have to have a summoner. If you don't, you know, play Spinner Lands, if you're new to it, then this is what this means. Uh, you, If you have a level 2 summoner, then you can play the level two cards. If you don't have a level two summoner, then it will just play at the level one ratings. So when you level them up, they will get more abilities as they get more powerful. So it's pretty cool. All right. That looks like that was all of them. Let me do another little quick pass through. Oh, nope. Life Sapper. There we go. Cool. I do believe that got them all. Except for the two that I'm renting out there. Renting out my doubles instead of combining my doubles. Which I should probably just take them and combine them, but it's nice to rent out. Anyway, I'm going to check in my gold foils. These are all the little gold foil cards that I've got right now. I'm really wanting to add to this stack and rent them out. So, because every one of these are rented out right now, so it adds up to the uh, to the DEC stack. So I like it, but uh, makes it fun. Makes it uh, a fun investment that you can uh, actually utilize, play, and then you've got the whole uh, governance uh, staking DeFi thing going on over here. This is what I like to call GameFi, and uh, I think we're really going to start getting involved with a lot more gaming stuff with Hive Hustlers community. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where that goes. But anyway, that's, uh, that's it for me tonight, guys. You guys have a great rest of your evening. Be cool. Be real. Always abide. Peace out.